Hi, I'm back again today with some book page embellishments. And I thought I would just share them with you. I was working on them. I saw them. Uh, I saw the inspo on Gail Augustinelli's channel, but I think someone else had made them before her. I just wanted to show you in this little journal that I've been working on. It's a little scrappy journal that I made. Um, they would just kind of go here. This particular one would go here and it can be like glued on and then be a tuck spot right here. Or you could put it in the middle of the page and it could be a belly band. I just think it turned out so cute. I love them. So I just decided I would share them with you. And let me just go ahead and go through what the samples of the ones that I've made so far. And I thought we would make one together as well. The digitals with the fairies on them are by Miss Melancholy on Etsy. And then I have some other digitals that I've been using. These are by Shabby Dabby Doodah and they're little country cottages. So I made this one. I just thought it was so cute. And then I have some Tim Holtz ephemera on it as well. And then there's another one. And then this, this one I thought was adorable. It turned out really well. And then this one I decided to put on a tag just to see what that would look like. And I love how it turned out. And then on the back of the tag, I put some writing area. I just thought it turned out really cute. And then there's this one. She's cute. And this one. And then these are some Tim Holtz people. And this is all Shabby Dabby Doodah uh, digital. So, alrighty, let's go ahead and get started. I thought we would make um, a couple today together. And so the first thing you do is you just start out with some book pages. So whatever book pages that you have, I'm gonna go ahead and fold them. And you just are really just haphazardly kind of folding them whatever way you want. And you can fold them either lengthwise so that they're taller, or you can fold them widthwise and have a shorter book page embellishment. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and ink it up. Okay, and then you just take it and I'm just going to be using this art glitter glue. And then I'm just putting a little bit of glue in here. And I'm gluing each little section down. Just like that. And then once under here, like that. And so basically you're just kind of getting it to lay flat. And now you can, after you're all done with this, on Gail's um, version of these, she sewed around it, like with the sewing machine and some black thread, and it looked really cool, and I might do that later, but I just decided I would do a glued version because some people don't have sewing machines, and, and then you can always sew it if you like, so. All right, so then um, once you make this, I made a couple of these so far. Here's what they look like. Let's go ahead and decorate them. So I thought that I would do, I have my scrap bucket and I thought that I would go ahead and decorate them with some scraps. So like this, let's see. I'm going to make him a little bit smaller. Oh, I think I like him on there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and ink around. And this is a digital from, let me see, Kleebat Creations, I believe. I believe it's from this company. 
Yes, yeah. It's from this little set that I have. Okay, so I'm gonna take this one and glue it on. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that one. I think I will. Oh, this is cute. Okay, let me see what I've got here. I think I'm going to go ahead and put that on here. Okay, and then I think on this last one, oh, this is cool. This is just like a little flip up. I think I might put this on here and then we can use this to journal in. And then we can just stick it in a pocket or clip it onto a page, that'd be cool. I think we'll do that with this one. I think I would like something behind this one as well. I decide, do I like this behind it or this? I kind of feel like I like this behind it. Okay, on this one I'm just going to glue the two sides of it and then when I put it on the page I can make a tuck spot in here and then I'll just glue this back piece to the page I think. I think that would be cool looking. Okay. Alright, so what do I want to put on these? Oh my gosh, she is so cute. Oh, I feel like she needs to be on here. I don't think she needs to be on there. Yes. I love her. She's so cute. Okay, so part of her wing is going to hang off the page. Oh my gosh, so cute. Oh, I love how she turned out. Mm -hmm. That's super cute. And then this one folds up and then you can write on it. Oh, cute. Okay, and then let's see about this one. 
on this one, I have some more of these digitals from Shabby Dabby Doo Da. Oh, that's cute. I'm thinking about putting maybe something, let's see if I have something green that I can put the house on. Oh, this. Let's see. And then the house can go on that. Maybe. Hmm. Okay, I think I like it up there. Okay, and then the next thing I thought I would maybe put on there is like a ticket. just one of these butterflies. Actually, I just like the butterfly. That's cute. And these are both from that same digital set. The Country Cottages. Oh, see, that's cute. I like that. I love how that turned out. That's adorable. Cute. Okay, so then the last one. Let's see if we should do something to this. Hmm. Maybe I like a butterfly on that. Actually, I like that little half butterfly, I think. That's cute. I wonder if I put something up there that it is sitting on. Actually, maybe it's sitting on a little whale tail. I like that. Do I want it on the top and then it's sitting on it? It's kind of cute. I think this whale tail is kind of shiny. I wonder if I have another one. Let me look in my box of whale tails. Well, that's a cool one. That one I ran through the embosser. I think I like that. Cute. Let's see. I like that. That'll look cute in the journal for sure. Okay. I love how they all turned out. So just a recap. We have this one that we just made and then you can journal on the inside and maybe she's clipped to the side of the page. Maybe she's going over a page from one to another in a journal, like sitting over a page like this in a journal. Oh my gosh, look how cute she looks. <laughs> That'll be really cute. And then maybe you clip the top. 
like that. That would be adorable. I definitely like how that looks. Okay, cute. And then the next one, I mean, that could go in a page. That looks adorable as well. Then you could make a tuck spot behind it. That would be cute. Yeah, definitely we'll have to go in one with a larger page, but but the cute thing is, is this tag can hang off of this. You glue this on the page and then you use this for a tuck spot. You could put something in there, not this, of course, but if you wanted to, you could put like a little, a blank tag in it. You could just put like a little blank tag in it for someone to write on and then it's glued to the page and then you have this part hanging off. That's adorable. Well, I love how these turned out. Thanks for joining me. You should totally try this fun book page embellishment. Look at all of these. I love how they turned out. They're so cute. I especially love the fairy ones and the Shabby Dabby Doodah Cottage ones. They're so adorable. They all turned out so cute. Thanks, you guys. See you next time. Bye.